Hello, neighbors. Welcome or welcome back to the neighborhood. I'm Squealer D and I am back again. This time we are back in the wacky world of Amy Marion, taking a look at her descent into lunacy. That's right, neighbors. Things at the Marions just keep getting weirder and I'm here for it. Let's see what Amy is up to now. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring today's video. Oh, Jaden, you forgot your factor meal. Oh, I did. Jaden, how much did your mom pay you to be in that factor ad? When are you kids going to wake up and see that whatever your mom has left after she pays the bills, you kids are entitled to a portion of? Are you going to wait until you get kicked out like Evan or until the law changes and makes Amy pay you? This isn't a family business, Jaden. If your mom can't make videos for any reason, or if her channel just does poorly, no one will have anything. You and your siblings are too uneducated to see that you're being exploited, but I'm here to help you. Here's an easy test to see if you should demand compensation. Ask Lauren how much she was paid for all of those videos she took the lead in. You kids don't realize that your mom has to provide a place for you to live and food with or without YouTube. She is lining her own bank account and likely saving for her and Greg's retirement while she uses you and sends you off to work. You had to buy your own car, Jaden, but... Did Greg have to buy his own car? This sponsorship makes no sense. Amy's whole brand is frugal, large family living. These factor TV dinners cost $81 for six meals, $13.50 for a frozen dinner. The most expensive frozen dinners at Whole Foods are only $10. What is she thinking? She can't afford Factor, but expects her subscribers to afford them. Not to mention, Factor is just repackaged HelloFresh. This company sucks, and they use garbage YouTubers to promote their overpriced and overpackaged meals. HelloFresh Factor is ran by the children of ultra-rich Germans who set their children up in the meal kit industry. They retaliate against workers trying to unionize and have tons of complaints about food freshness and quality. They use shields like Amy to combat the real reviews. Hey! Bye. It is Monday. We had a great weekend, a wonderful weekend. You know what we did this weekend? We went shark tooth hunting. What? I know. It was so much fun. Welcome to the beach. Hey. We're here. Awesome. We are, we are back in action. Shark tooth Back in action. Sounds exactly like something someone who just got back from rehab would say. Back in action. But he's just been busy working. Why is it that Greg, who moved to Florida for a good job with benefits for the whole family, was in the videos nearly daily for the first few months they were in Florida? But near the end of September, when the pool tile, the distraction was nearly done, he was all of a sudden too busy with the same work. Autumn's birthday was October 3rd, and she recorded him singing. The week after Autumn's birthday, they were supposed to go out, but they didn't go out like planned. And she didn't wear her wedding ring for the next week. And then on Friday, after her subscribers called her out, she tried to say her finger was itchy. Okay. Amy doesn't show Greg again until the shark tooth hunting video. That means nearly 18 days between Grego sightings. She doesn't show him at home with her, just at the beach. Let me know in the comments if that seems normal to you. Because the Amy we know makes sure she puts anyone she is around on her channel. Greg hasn't been around. And whenever he is, we see him. Amy makes sure of it. 
so laughy because the waves are so powerful and they just like bulldoze you over so. So this is awesome. So this is like way fun. This is way good. This is something super cool to bring your kids to do. Look at that. That is a shark tooth. There's another one. It's off that. Come over to your left and get these, all these palms in the woods and show people the trail. It's a great day. It's insane that Greg pops up out of nowhere and wants to tell Amy how to film her vlog. A little over to the left, honey. Show this little path here. I am a YouTube expert. They have such a toxic relationship. One of my favorite days, beach days so far. It's like the waves, the waves are out of control. Got a bunch Very of shark cool. teeth. Ton of them, yeah. Well, you sort of get the vibe for where they are. Day. Really awesome. And the waves, we'll talk about the wave. waves. What are, happened to me today? Waves, okay. I just looked and saw Greg catapult to the front. <laughs> the waves were really fun. The waves fun. are awesome. We were bummed yeah. we didn't have our, uh, our boogie boards. boards with us today. I know, but we'll, this is like so fun. It's beautiful. Steven looks super bored while Greg and Amy ignore him and yuck it up playing in the sand. So immature and weird. They go to the beach to have fun themselves. They could care less if the kids want to go or if they have any fun. We'll this season try to find a mastodon tooth. If I Greg's hopes and dreams are to find a mastodon tooth that you can literally buy online for less than $100. I wonder if Amy buys him one for Christmas. I'd say my favorite, most favorite laughable fun beach day. That one. Man, the most laughable fun favorite beach day. Hearing that must make her other eight children who were not there on that particular day feel so loved. They never made you laugh like Grego, Steven, and Jensen hunting shark teeth. Would have been my fun beach day. So I was just sitting there and the waves were just pounding us up. So we did find some shark teeth. So I'll show you. I'll go inside here in a minute. I'll show you the ones that we did find. So that was our whole day Saturday. It was just great at the beach. And we didn't get home till really late. I think it was 9.30 we got home. And then Sunday was church and then came home and relaxed. We relaxed all day. I came out in the pool and I swam. I swam for about two hours. It was nice just to sit in the pool and just relax. Just relax and swim. Turn on the little bubble. If you didn't know any better, you would think Amy has a job, the way she cries about needing to relax. This woman is so out of touch with the real world. The fact that she is burned out from what she does on this channel is an actual joke and a slap in the face to an actual working mother. My partner, single mom, worked an office job from nine to five and six to close at Target for 20 years. In those 20 years, she raised two families. She was the caretaker for her Alzheimer's stricken mother and got my partner through college. She retired from Target and still works in her 70s and talks with her grandbabies daily. And she visits from across the country at least once a year. To show what Amy does and then complain about needing to relax or not cook the entire weekend is not only horrendously lazy, but it's downright un-American. Jets and just sit in it and just relax. That's what we did. That's what we did. And we had all, I didn't do any food this weekend. It, so no one ate anything. We had, we had a pizza. The girls came home late and they made the pizza. And then they ate that for Saturday. Sunday rolled around. We pulled off of that chicken. I pulled the rest of the chicken off the chicken. <laughs> We ate that after church, and then um, we had, at nighttime, we made mac and cheese, mac and cheese and hot dogs. Amy buys the children cheap frozen pizza and Aldi rotisserie chicken, but her and Greg go out for steaks. Greg's Cokes and Monsters cost more than anything she buys for the kids. When are you kids going to smarten up and demand better treatment? Why can't the whole family go out to dinner but less frequently instead of Amy and Greg going out all the time? This isn't just Amy's YouTube money. She gaslights you children and tells you it's her channel, but all of your faces are featured prominently in thousands of her videos. Her whole niche is being a large family mama. It's the Marion's money. Your older siblings are damned fools if they aren't getting paid. Did Lauren buy a nice new house with YouTube money? How about Evan? Colin? He helped with the actual business. 
Did he buy a house from money Amy paid him? But Amy bought a house, right? And you guys can't even pick which bedroom and which bathrooms you want to use. Don't be like them. You kids still have a chance to get what's owed to you. Demand better. And here I am today. I'm up. It was. I came out. And I was like, I saw a little smoke coming off the pool. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a little bit. That is your energy escaping. You are heating the pool and losing heat to the cool air. Put on a pool cover, and the pool will heat faster and stay warm longer, and you will waste less electricity, Amy. New short sleeve fall outfits, and I looked at the weather and it was like 89 degrees today. So I'm like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. It's our day, Monday. I'm not sure how the day, my day, my life, who knows? I'd love to say I'm gonna do A, B, C, D, and E for today. Who knows what I'm gonna do today? But I do know for now. A 50 year old couple with 10 children, three grandchildren, who just purchased a $650,000 house should have an idea of where their life is going and should have a grasp on their day. How else will you continue to better yourself if you're never planning or guiding your days, Amy? We're gonna pick up, get things rolling. I love, and I gotta make food, we need food today. Different school things to go with our little shark tooth hunting lesson, so we probably- She can't be serious saying that shark tooth hunting was part of school. That's crazy. Plus, she only had the boys. Maddie and Autumn don't need that lesson. Amy, you are losing it, mama. Weekend, so you guys ready for a great day? I am ready for a great day. Let's go in. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Yep, maybe 13. We found 13 right there. So nice and little. We got more shells, lots of different fun things to find. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do with all these? So everyone I've ever known who had a drug problem always had schemes and get rich fast plans. This must be Grego's harebrained scheme to get rich off of shark teeth since his wood shop failed. Every time I walk by a rug, I just like wipe my foot off on it. <laughs> no. just see it. So I'm probably gonna pick these up so we can get real good um, vacuuming on the floor. Put this here temporary. That way the table's cleaned off. It's not looking perfect, but I put my orange little runner on there. I like it, it's much better. So for now, it works. You do what you gotta do. If you can can't get a shell put in right now due to Greg's work schedule and there's no time. You could have the kids take their school stuff to your office every day. You could have the kids take their school stuff to their bedrooms and place them on their desks every day. You don't because you know it'll all come up missing. Your kids are in middle school and high school. That is so sad. Your office. That's the reason why I saved it. Okay, our pool is chlorine in it, obviously. So instead of putting this in my washer, it's like I rinsed off the sand. So I'm just going to kind of skim it through the water here because the water has chlorine. It's chlorinated. It's going to help, you know, sanitize that a little bit and then I'll take it out to dry. The pool is warm. Oh my goodness, it feels like bath water. It's not bath water. Let it dry. Then it, it just smelled fishy. <laughs> it, smells like, it smells like fish because it's the ocean. It's a great day. It's like all I want to do is jump in that pool and swim. But I know I have to. Amy is such a hillbilly. Why does she wash sandy items off so close to her pool? How long does she leave the beach stuff all packed up before she cleans it in the disgusting broken pool? How is this easier than just dropping a couple drops of dish soap and washing it with the hose? It smelled like fish? But she put it in the pool because it has chlorine and it will sanitize it. She's so repulsive. I guess it's messy being a full-time shark tooth hunter. Be responsible. I swam for two hours yesterday. I can go swim again later today. So let's go in. Um, I'm thinking, what should we do? It's just so nice when it's cooler. I do enjoy the cooler weather. Amy, being positive doesn't mean just saying you like everything. You said you loved it when it was so hot that your eyeballs were sweating. You said it and your face was shriveled in disgust. Just because you say something doesn't make it so, Miss Amy. Okay, so let's do breakfast. This is something I haven't made in a long time is popovers. We love popovers. Ashley used to make popovers for us all the time. 
you're only mentioning Ashlyn so your subs will stop asking about her. It's pathetic. If she doesn't want to be on the channel, why would she want you bringing up her popovers and then making monstrosity so everyone thinks she also can't make a popover over? Because I don't need that many. So this is in my cookbook. You can get my cookbook. Family cookbook right here. Selling a cookbook that she didn't write the recipes. She doesn't follow the recipes. And she doesn't even know what recipes are in the book. Everything I make all the time because we eat the same thing. And these are awesome. So I'm going to wait till my oven heats up. I'm going to put a small one here and see how that works. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is hot dogs. I'm going to slice up and fry those and make some scrambled eggs. Easy. This is a way to gather up those fragments so nothing goes to waste. So I'm just going to take and chop up my hot dogs. Roast them. Fried leftover dollar Aldi hot dogs and eggs for you kids. Yum. How long do you think you kids can eat like that before you start experiencing health problems? Let me know in the comments. Okay, pop are ready. We're going to put these in. I don't know if you remember that barely fits in there, but it does fit on the runner, so totally forgot. Smaller oven. Now, some popover recipes, like this one, is a little bit thicker, so the popovers are a little bit more chewy. Sometimes they're thinner. I guess it just depends on how thin you make your batter. You can compare Amy and Martha's recipes yourself, but you can see clearly why Amy's look like little shrivel blops and Martha's look like mouth-watering tasty treats. Amy is the most ignorant cook on YouTube. The popovers are an instant fail. You gotta preheat the popover pan with fat in the oven before you add the batter, Miss Amy. You wanna sizzle when you pour your batter in the pan. Instead, Amy's was a fizzle. That's my favorite, right there, right there. The kids put a filthy plate away. That bare minimum spirit that Amy teaches. Just do what you can do and mom will fix it. There is no way you can miss the amount of filth they left on that plate. Always check your glasses in the Marianne household or your plates. All right, that one's clean. because they pop up and then they deflate down. So, oh goodness, they're just so, so good. Okay, so everybody's are different. So these ones, well not everybody's, I guess they are. It depends on where you find your recipes and what you do. Sometimes they're real light. And sometimes they look like old corn muffins gone wrong. Maybe they come up sometimes. These are a little bit thicker, might have added a little bit too much flour, but delicious and then they'll kind of puff down a little bit. So good with some butter. So I'll have this with the eggs and the hot dogs right there. Breakfast. I bet Ashlyn is really happy you compared her popovers to these little blobs of sadness. This is done. So fun. Okay, got home. I have been, I uh, ran Brooklyn to work, came home. Kids, I came home and they're like, we're doing something educational, mom. And they're watching all of our old family vlogs on here. So we're looking at them old ones. They're like literally mixing when she was a puppy. Look at No, it's okay. You can leave her there. Look at her. She was literally a puppy. Now she's like a big old dog. So, so fun. Good old memory. So while they're doing that, I'm going to get together stuff for our slime so instead of having to measure out exactly I just marked a container and then I'm gonna fill it up so the teenagers and preteens are doing slime for school but Amy is actually doing the only part that could have even been considered slightly educational once again is this immaturity on Amy's part or are the kids so delayed that they can't do simple tasks this is not unschooling this is just neglect and ignorance. Getting to school, chores, cleaning up. There's like a ton of shells in the, in the, um, the I don't know what happened, the clothing, laundry from our beach trip out of control. So we're going to have to make sure we dump those out way before we put those in the laundry. So. Countdown until the washer and dryer are broken. They've already broken the pool, the AC, the oven, and the refrigerator. It's just a waiting game at this point because Amy doesn't take care of anything she has, ever. 
If you look back at my vlogs in the beginning of our old house, it would've been a long time ago, my kids were little, I'm like, how different my home looked. And then slowly, I was able to change things, upgrade things, and do it at my home. So I think of this home here, and I think <laughs> I think last week someone said I need to change, do my house, and I'm like, I will be doing my house, but I'm definitely not gonna jump into it and do it right away. And so it's just funny how just different mindsets, you just get that like instant gratification. Everybody wants things now, right now, right? Isn't that our society? Like, I want now, like buy now, pay later. Basically kind of mentality and just waste all your money, charge things up so you can get everything right now without just like waiting for it in time. And so. Amy, here's some scripture I thought that might help you. Matthew 7, 5. You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Luke 12, 2. Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. For someone who's monetized reading the Bible, you would think she would have taken these scriptures to heart. You sit here and you preach about instant gratification of everyone wanting things right now in the moment rather than waiting. Wait like you did with your 200 $44,200 second mortgage you took up on the mountain house in February of 2021. You use that money to build up the shop and create Grego's dream. But Grego couldn't clean up his act long enough to make the shop successful. And Colin and Evan couldn't run it on their own. <clears throat> when you moved, you lost all of the money you invested in the shop and all of the equity in your house due to that second mortgage. Now you're in the same situation, but you're 50, and you might not even qualify for a second mortgage on this house. The way things are looking with your channel and Grego's problems, you might not even have this house for very long. A couple of years from now, my home will be probably a couple of years, hopefully before a couple of years, but slowly. You know what I mean? A couple of years, I'll have my house. Look, I think I look back at my mountain house. It took a long time for my house to look that way. And it's like, it just happens slowly. Everybody just goes out and does what everybody else does. Everybody just does what everybody else does. And so it just, it just shows just that instant gratification people want. It's like, I guess, I don't know. Everybody's got different opinions on things, but I had to laugh. I was like, wow, look at how different life was six years ago, seven years ago, and then how I slowly worked hard and slowly changed. We changed the flooring, we changed the wall color, I painted all my cabinets, like all that stuff I did. I'm like, that all took time to do. And I'm like, it's gonna do you the same way here in the house. And I have plenty of other things to do. I had a lot of little kids, so I had a little bit more time. I wasn't running teens. I wasn't you know, doing a lot of that kind of stuff. So I could do a lot of that stuff on my own. And so it's just funny how things are different. Thank also, notice how Amy says she worked hard, kids. She made the money to get her house together. She grinded for six years to get where she is. You kids who were in thousands of her videos and even Greg had no hand in her channel making money. What a joke. Lauren, you should be pissed. Very thankful for those things and like showing the mundane tasks of life. Like this is life. This is what a normal mom's life is like. like no, it's not. The norm in America is not living in a $650,000 home. The, the norm in America is not making your money from social media. The normal in America is not selling your children on a public platform for views and likes. Stop saying what you do is a normal mother. You are the furthest thing from normal mother in all of America all the time they shop all the time and then you know what they do they do a huge declutter all the time and then you know what they do they go buy more things all the time same thing it's a cycle and it's fine whatever whatever works it's like, so for me right now i can't do a ton of shopping i can't go do a ton of hauls i wish i could i just can't i have responsibility right now i have kids to take care of and to teach i have teenagers to drive so let me get these to bring amy just described that grocery lady gal that she was just collabing with which means she was also describing how to have a successful vlog without your kids being exploited. Go shop, declutter, go shop some more, rinse and repeat. Instead, she would rather do fake school and drive Brooklyn back and forth to the mall for her four hour shifts so she can make $49 after taxes. I'd give Brooklyn $40 just to get away from me and go catch the bus. 
too dried out here. I'm sorry, you're all crooked. Tonight I will be um, going to the pool and then I'll come in and take a shower, so I'll scrub it then. Let me just go spray bleach on the toilet. It's an easy dinner night, so I'm going to do some mixed vegetables here. And I'm gonna take, we have pierogies and kielbasa. These are two pieces of chicken. These are that, um, is it the Thai chicken? I'm gonna cut those up to have with um, some salad or if somebody just wants chicken instead of the kielbasa. And I'm gonna literally put this in a cookie shape. I'm gonna slice this up and then I'm gonna put it in a pan with, um, you can fry it real easy. Beagle. Amy feeds the children hot dogs and sausages for multiple meals a day sometimes. Crazy. I'll wash things to get eaten up. Our cucumbers here. My favorite's when you have a piece of plastic and then it's like totally going to miss that or what? It's like, do we even use the table anymore? No. Get rid of it. It takes up way too much room. You don't really do school at it and it just needs sanded and revarnished. And we all know Greg will just ruin it if he ever has enough time to try to do it. Cool. The oven cooks a little bit different, so these are what they look like the top part, obviously. Amy is never going to figure out that oven. It cooks uh, better than the bottom one, so I put a couple pieces of chicken, so I just move the chicken down the bottom, and I'm cooking the bottom pan. These are delicious. Yes. But I made ants, Mommy, because these are on the ground. How are her kids this old and still leaving garbage on the floor? The kids are in the pool, so they all were outside. I'm like, you guys just want to eat outside? They said yes, yeah. so I just made them plates. Everything got just like pretty much gone. So tonight we're gonna go do a movie instead. So we decided we're like, let's just do that instead of doing it anymore. So they're finishing up up there. The we got teams of people. Some are doing the pool cleanup. The rest are gonna do the kitchen cleanup, just loading dishwasher, um, and then we have laundry on the ottoman. But we'll leave that till tomorrow, and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna go see movies. So change of plans. That's a good thing. And my car can. So how many of you actually think Amy is going to take her children out to the movies? Let me know in the comments if you think that's actually going to happen. Be dirty till tomorrow. That's quite all right. So you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. It is Tuesday, and I get the opportunity to make some food for my family today. And today I get to make some food. Today is not a super busy day. Today is going to be one of those days. Yesterday we had a little bit more going on. It seemed like the day kind of went more. I did a lot of stuff off camera, worked late into the night. It's the humdrum of life. That's what... So wait, you worked late into the night? What happened to the movies? I knew it. But homemaking is, it's not always go here, go there. It's not always, I gotta do a million things. It's not always, I gotta do every activity under the sun. I gotta go shopping and spend all my family's money. We gotta go, you know, thrifty. We gotta go discount store shopping. We gotta go grocery shopping. We gotta go. Amy acts like her audience is trying to pressure her into doing things. Lady, you said you were taking the kids out to the movies and didn't. And then you act weird when people ask why and what happened. Whenever you don't want to answer a question, you say something about security. It's pathetic, but most things you do are, Amy. And most of the time it's this. So we're gonna make ho-ho cake. You guys ready? All right, let's go. I'm gonna put, just dump everything in this bowl. Follow the recipe. My coconut oil for a long time was melted. It was obviously on a huge, really heated truck for a couple weeks. Had a kids, kids, kids. Google high heat and rancid coconut oil because it seems as though your mother is trying to increase your carcinogen intake hoping for cancer. Someone in the family with cancer would give her a whole lot of views. Good evening yesterday. I worked late. I stopped filming. The kids swam for a long, long time out there. They were out there well into the late night. And then um, they all came in. So the kids were in the pool all night annoying the neighbors and didn't get to go to a movie. I wonder if Greg made an empty promise or if it was Amy just lying to her subs as usual. So go subscribe to that. That's linked below. 12 by 18 jelly roll pan right here. So I'm gonna spray this. I got my oven on, so hopefully it'll heat up here. It cooks so fast. I told Brooklyn the other day, oh my goodness, I'm like, I didn't even put it in there for very long. She goes, you wanna know why it cooks so fast? I'm like, why? So she's like, it's because it's made to cook at such a high temperature real quick. And to get going, I'm like, that makes sense. Because I just need to do more research. Just one of these days, watch a YouTube video on someone cooking on it best. So. Okay, Brooklyn is an idiot just like Amy. 
stick to folding t-shirts at the mall. You're likely going to be doing it for a long time. Amy simply doesn't know how to use the oven. Brooklyn is suggesting the oven cooks at a higher temperature than the knob says. This is what happens when you don't have an education. You say the dumbest things in the world with confidence. Poor child. So, I'm going to put this in here. Let's use the timer. Until done. That's my kind of cookbook. This is one of those where you boil it, a flour and milk mixture, and then that's like your thickener part of it. We'll use my mixer, and you add butter, shortening, sugar, and vanilla. So I'm going to make this, and then for dinner tonight we'll have red beans and rice, which is real simple. I'll probably get that going right away because I'm not sure what's going to happen for the rest of our day. I don't know if we'll go out or what we'll do. I don't know yet. Red beans and rice for the kids. I wonder what Greg and Amy are going to have for dinner. Or if she means perhaps they have to meet Grego at another park. And in that case, she'll take the red beans and rice to go. Which is what I'll do. It makes like a thick... Right there. That's it. So now you're going to let that cool. I can't imagine feeding a child shortening and flour and sugar as icing. That is ludicrous. Not to mention, she lazily used her spurtle and left it lumpy. Every kid wants a flour lump in their cake frosting. Yum. Red beans and rice is in my cookbook right here. We haven't made it in a long time. Very simple. You're going to use onion. I have celery. And then it's just sausage cut up. Canned diced tomatoes, chili beans, and tomato sauce. And rice. Put over rice. Groceries have definitely gone up in price everywhere. Groceries are definitely more expensive. So you know what? Whatever you can do. That might be you could have stayed in your cheaper house that was located near cheaper food. Instead, you overpaid on your house just to have a pool and be near Grego's rehab centers. And your kids will pay for it all with their bad nutrition because you will do whatever you can do. Sad. I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients to this here. I'm going to dice tomatoes, two chili beans, and a tomato sauce. I'm wondering if I can use, like, a, this would be like a rotel. And then I'm going to add my chili beans. I do the mixed one, so that's the one to be light. So I'm going to have a huge can of tomato sauce. I do not want to open that right now. So the other option would be to open this up and just add this. And I don't care. That would be much easier than a big giant. She clearly isn't eating this slop when she says she doesn't care what tomato sauce she's going to use. Rotel, mixed chili beans, and marinara in red beans and rice sounds disgusting. You do whatever you can do. And this we just serve over rice. It's a really simple meal. It's like our cake is done. If you don't have a too big, I do. I think they're all back there. Just get like a little knife and just put a little tiny slit in it. When it comes out clean, then you know it's done. So this is done. I'm going to take this out. Let that sit. I'm going to wait till our um, flour and milk get cooler so I can whip that up. Okay, it is done. It's done. It tastes good without the tomato sauce. I'm going to do the frosting real quick. It's basically, you put this in here, and then you add butter, shortening, sugar, and vanilla, make it fluffy. So I'm just going to put that all in the mixer. The mixer does the work. You don't have to do anything except add the ingredients. And that's it. I just left it. I ran upstairs, did a quick uh, phone call. She said, I ran upstairs, did a f quick h phone call. <clears throat> Amy has so little content that she has to tell her subs about each and every phone call that she makes now because that is real life. So this is good. So then you're just going to spread this on your cake. Okay, so I noticed sometimes you get little chunks of your um, flour in there. So I guess make sure. Yum, kids. Y'all still laughing over there? Or has your bubble guts gotten too severe? Flour chunks. Yum. Make sure I really mix well. I did not make perfect sure of it. Stir the butter into the chocolate. Kids are upstairs getting their stuff done and they wanted grilled cheese and I'm like, grilled cheese, you can make grilled cheese.
poured that on and I was like, is that gonna stretch across the entire cake? So I'm like spreading it real thin. It does, it's gonna have a little bit of white underneath. If I were to make this for a party or something, or a guest, I would add a little bit more than what the recipe says. Sometimes when your kids ask for something, you just make it. Do I have to? No, we can do whatever. But I'm like, you know what, I'll make some grilled cheese here. So what I'll do is I'll finish this up here and then for those of you that just wanted to see the food, there's the food. And then for those of you that wanna stay and watch the rest, you can stay and watch the rest because we'll continue with our day. I like to film my whole day to show a real life homemaker how it is, monotonous, things to do, running kids, part of life, so yeah. So Amy is making shorts and started a new channel and is trying to make her channel better, but she refuses to just do the simplest things. Her sound is horrible. A microphone would help that. Her lighting is horrible. A simple light and a course on lighting would help that. Her content is stale. New dishes would help that. Some simple mise en place before she films would make all of her container openings smoother. She wouldn't have to run around the kitchen or turn her back to her viewers. Simple things, but she would rather try to do more like a short of the nasty food she shouldn't be making, let alone making nine hours in advance. Because I don't want to do all that right now. I want to get out of my kitchen and I don't have any canned soup. My kids just like to dip it. Let them dip in there. Yep. You see that, kids? She makes you settle for marinara because she won't run to the store. But when Greg was tearing apart that pool that was perfectly fine, she went to the store nearly every day for him. Greg isn't going to make it much longer with how many chips she puts in his lunch every day. A serving is 18 chips for about 120 calories. That bag has at least five servings of chips. She doesn't always put the ice pack in the bag, but we know that Greg leaves his bag in the car. What in the world kind of fake job does Greg supposedly work? It looks like to me, Miss Amy is either faking the lunch or Grego indeed needs it for his rehab outings. We got all of our food making is done. I've kind of resolved since you know having kids that they just, you know, they don't take care of things like you do. So it's like, all right, as long as like my area that I say something, I'm good. She takes every chance she can to tell you how horrible her kids are. <laughs> Fear of humans. All right, we're gonna go in here. This is the sports and leisure services. Let's go see. I have like a mini basketball thing. That's not a basketball thing. And you make sure you show every single park your family goes to because you're so worried about the kids' safety that you aren't sharing about your older kids and the holidays regarding them. Hmm. I don't think you're being truthful, Miss Amy to our day. It is Wednesday. We started early today. Out the door at 6.30 this morning. So I had to leave. We actually had to drive to like St. Petersburg, I think it was. There's an all children's hospital. We had to go over there and get an x-ray done. No emergency, just something that had to get done. And get to get done in a children's hospital. So we did that this morning. Just got Amy loves to give personal info like that out so that her followers will watch for another crumb of information. It was probably not even a child's x-ray. It was probably for her, and she was too embarrassed to tell her personal medical information. A little bit of time, and I gotta run Brooklyn to work. So, busy day, today's gonna be a running day. It's a running day. And I'm still gonna make some food, because we're low on food. So, breakfast, I thought, why don't I come over here and make breakfast for the kids that I have to have at home, so I'm gonna just make toad in a hole. Something simple. So, we just basically cook this. Lick the egg set and then flip it over and cook it the other way. Some like it dippy, some like it plain. So I'm going to uh, make these up real quick for the kids. They're getting out of bed. <laughs> and so I think I'll just go and grab a few things that I wanted to. We'll bring it for that. So I'm going to just, these are almost done. 
easy, easy breakfast for the kids. Yeah. Do you ever do anything for your family that isn't the bare minimum? Ever? Hoe cake was a winner. The more it sat, I think the better it was. That was a winner. Kids really, really enjoyed it. I didn't mind it too. It was a good, good thing. So, toad in the hole, real simple, easy meal. Okay, we made it out. We're gonna go hit up Home Kids, go get those things that we saw last week. So, Brooklyn went to the mountains to visit her boyfriend and now she's wearing a big old shiny ring on her ring finger. She's had it on for a few weeks in real time. Some of Amy's subs asked if she was engaged and Amy said no, but she didn't tell us it was a promise ring or anything like that. I think that Brooklyn is indeed engaged. Plus, the ring probably deters possible romantic offers while working retail at the mall. Okay, we bought some stuff and go into at home. Is it Biscotti that coffee? Yeah. Thing? Brooklyn is a 16 year old that is graduated, working full time, takes trips alone to see her boyfriend in another state, is possibly engaged, thinks she knows about industrial stoves, but doesn't know what a biscotti is. Okay. To get a new nativity set, I said, I know I don't, I think I saved mine. I don't know if I did. There was a couple broken pieces, but my mom has the same one, a little bit nicer. And so I think um, my dad obviously said he'd hold on to that for me. And so, um, and he, he won't be decorating with it, but I, I have that up there. So I'll probably just get hers one day. So, okay, so I'm going to go and return this and then I'll go home and start, get the things we need to get done. Then we have a homeschool thing later on that we'll head to today. It's a good running day. So life, this is what we're doing today. So fun, I get to my wreath out today. Hopefully, see how my day goes. Maybe I can just hang it up right now as I walk in my house. So let's go in. There it is. Along with our no soliciting sign because people still solicit with it on there. I like that. I need to get decorations out here, obviously. That porch needs a serious power washing. Greg sucks so much. He is so useless. This fixer upper needs a two page list of problems fixed. And this moron spent the first summer in their new home tiling the pool unnecessarily, making sure no one could swim and neglecting the holes in the walls and the broken air conditioner and the disgusting front porch. So dumb. On the side, you know, pumpkins, all that, but I missed that this year, so <laughs> I'll get the fall, the Christmassy ones, but that'll be good. We'll have that wreath forever in a day. I'm putting together salad, as you saw. So it's right here. We've got cucumbers. I did a different kind of chop it up. Tomatoes here. I'm going to make a little bean salad here. I've got eggs right here. They get hard boiled eggs. And then we can squish up some Doritos. And I also have buffalo chicken. That's in the oven. Should be done a little bit. That can cook and cool off. And what we're going to do is we're going to be leaving here for a homeschool thing. Let's we'll see if they want to take it with them or if they'd rather eat when they get home. We'll see what they want to do. I'm going to put together a salad. When I was there at Aldi, they had those little salads. And then there was one with chickpeas, edamame, and cranberries in it. Now, I don't have the edamame stuff. A school teacher that doesn't know how to pronounce edamame makes sense since she doesn't care about other cultures or respect them enough to Google how to pronounce something that billions of people eat daily. She probably doesn't even know they're soybeans. So dumb. I'm gonna kind of mix this best I can. So I'm gonna do cucumbers and I'm gonna do chickpeas. So I've taken that and drained it and then put cranberries in here. It's not terrible. It's good, it's just like light, it's like chickpeas with some olive oil, vinegar, and <gasps> spices. I totally struck that. I have to leave in a little bit. Of, so I'll put all this stuff in the refrigerator and then I'll head out and get Brooklyn. We'll come back home, we have just a little bit of time, maybe an hour, and then um, we're going to go all head back out so we can go head over to the library that has the event and um, begin our things there and this can be good again for now i've got this food this is good this is gonna be delicious i literally take all this and put it in the refrigerator because we're gonna pull it out for dinner don't even cover it up make it easy on yourself so we're gonna be heading out the door so we are packing our salads so we just made these little boxes here the kids made to take these with us there's maddie in her only pair of shorts we had a, i dropped the kids off and then i ran and dropped off autumn at um her 
thing that she was going to. So that's a good thing. Now I'm back to the younger kids. I'm gonna go in there with them. They have about 40 minutes left. And so I got dinner here. We're gonna eat this while we kill some more time in the car. Yum. <laughs> home. So it's been a good long day. Good day. It's been good. You have a fantastic good. rest of your day and I will see you again tomorrow with another video. I was like, okay, I have some time now before I have to start my day. So I was editing all my um, daily Bible chapter videos. So we're reading every day, every day. Cause you know what? God's word just isn't for Sunday or the weekend. Like I want to edit that. So I got all of the next books. Jaden and Evan, you both had a YouTube channel and your mom didn't and still doesn't promote it. She only mentioned Jaden's channel one time and I never heard her mention Evan's. Evan also published books. I never heard of Evan's books. I've never heard her promote them. She mentions her daily Bible chapter channel almost every single day. Why no support for her kid's channel? Because she wanted you both to fail. She doesn't want your channel to do better than hers. And she doesn't want anyone to see anything about her from your point of view. Amy needs to control the narrative of everyone and everything around her. She is vying for you to fail, Jaden, just like she did your brother's to get that done through the book of Matthew. So I was doing that and then I had to stop and in my head I was thinking, oh, I have to leave in like, I have a half hour. I'm like, I can go down and do my hair. I can get ready before I take Brooklyn to work. And then Brooklyn sends me a text, are you ready to go? And I'm like, what? And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, oh, that's right. It's a half hour drive. So I ran downstairs. I'm like, is it half hour? Do I have like four minutes? She's like, it's 25 minutes. I'm like, okay, let me go do my hair real quick. So I'm like, ponytail it is. I'm like, pull it down, get it ready, grab my cup of coffee and boom, out the door we went. And so I had to laugh. I'm like, that's okay. I said, well, you never know. I said, maybe the Lord was protecting us from an accident happening or who knows why we were supposed to go this way. It made it just a few minutes late, but I was like, okay. But I had to laugh. I'm like, just remember, never go that way. Never go that way. Tr don't trust the GPS. No, you have to turn. So got her to work, came back home. I had one more um, chapter to finish to export. And so I ran upstairs real quick and I just did. I'm sure that Brooklyn thought it was hilarious that she was late. Brooklyn needs a bus pass. Like seriously, her mall job is not worth all the driving for Amy. Do the math and came downstairs here and I'm ready to start my day. So I have another great busy day today, but I'm okay with that. I'm like, let's get life. Let's keep moving. I've got Jaden is heading out. She's flying back to the mountains today and I also have to get Brooklyn. They're both at the exact time. And so I'm like, okay, I can do this, but I have to make food. I have to get things rolling in the household. So that's where we're going to start right now. So are you guys ready for a great day? I am already started and ready for my day. I don't have to do anything after like three o'clock today and I'm going to be home all night. So for me, I'm going in that pool and I'm going to relax. We're going to go for a bike ride tonight. We're going to go in the pool and just chill. Maybe we'll even pour out the fire pit and make some s'mores. Something crazy. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? I am ready. I'm going to go get an apron. Great day. Good Thursday. All right, let's go. Usually they say two hours before, but the airport's so tiny. You, I said, we'll literally drop at the door and then you can go right in. Security's right there and you can get through. So we're going to make it. I think, I know we're going to make it. And Jane, she's a driver. I know we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. But she doesn't actually care if you do make it, Jaden. So she knows all the back ways. She knows everywhere. So I'm like, okay, we got this. So, so Coco Cake's a winner. Twinkie Cake's going to be next. So let's just wipe down and then we get stuff out for dinner. And one is one of my viewers. I can't remember which one told me to take the stuff off the top. I will. I just have to wait for Greg. Those are heavy. We'll put them. She has to wait for Greg. She has a better chance of getting rid of them by having the children drink them. Amy. Just put them in the mini fridge instead of the soda pop and let everyone grab one of those instead. This bug, it's dead. Is that a palmetto bug? He's dead, he's dead. I'm gonna throw him on the floor. We'll sweep him up. I'm gonna throw him on the floor. Amy is fascinated by dead things. It's creepy. Later. You know what the, the average person does? And I know they do because there's plenty and plenty of truth of that. You know what people do? They go out to dinner. They go out to eat. <laughs> Instead of going out to dinner, we're going to make dinner in the slow cooker and have that tonight. And it's meatballs and it's going to be not homemade sauce. I'm going to use jar sauce and I'm completely fine with that. And you know what? It'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's better than eating out because that's what most people go out to eat. What, once or twice a week? It used to be once a week. Everybody ate out, but I know it's more nowadays. So Eating out is much better 
than the crap Amy lets fester on the counter all day long. At least at restaurants, they have food handling protocols. Get the rest of the stuff. I was in my fridge and I took out lasagna from my freezer um, yesterday. So that I was going through and trying to think, what am I going to make for Gather Your Fragment Friday for the weekend? Last weekend I didn't do anything and that was okay. And so I remember there's lasagna in there. So I'm like, that's perfect. Because I only had two meals planned out. I'm like, what can I make for the third one? We'll do lasagna because that'll use. Yes, tomato paste lasagna. You kids are so lucky. Up that freezer meal, which is good. So I'm just going to put this in here. I'm going to use half of this. I think one of my viewers wanted me to. She said, at least take it out and crush the, the, the spices between your hands to activate them or whatever she said, so I'll, I'll activate them. So we're gonna put that in there. I'll put them in my hand and the Italian seasoning, we're gonna activate it. And then I have a little bit of garlic, parsley. We'll put that in there and we'll activate that. That's perfect, there we go. That, that's good. <laughs> Amy doesn't understand rubbing nearly anything brings out the natural oils. She thinks she's activating the herbs. That's getting into crazy town levels of ignorance. What does she think happens when you brush your hair or a dog? It'll be good to do. Okay, so that is gonna cook. Those don't need to brown or anything. You know what we're gonna use? Jar sauce. You know why they make this jar sauce? For days like today. Usually, almost always, I get tomato sauce and make my own. We would freeze the rest of it. Here, the tomato sauce I have to order. It's not at my Sam's Club. Everything is uh, a little different. So I bought this for ease this month. Again, when do you not buy for ease, Amy? Do the minimum. That's your thing. If I were to do a study of most of America, most people would make it like this just by putting it in there. I'm going to have to get my big old that down there. Get off there, right? It'll freeze down. Nah, just smash the frozen corn down. It's good. It's great. It's delicious. There we go. Um, I did get a can. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add this again. That's how you soup up your canned sauce. Add a can of diced tomatoes. So now I've got breakfast all taken care of. I went out in the garage and grabbed the milk. There's milk in here. They can have cereal and there's fruit to have with it. Lunch, I've got some hard boiled eggs and canned chicken. I'm gonna do a chicken salad and egg salad. Very simple. Nothing fancy, but food for the belly. They can also she is really trying to fatten her family up with the daily mayo-based salads. It's like Amy teleported to the deep south in the 60s. I'm like Eggs when we had our salad yesterday, so I'm like, well, when I make this up, this will be good. It's like you go through different phases and seasons in life, I think. We had a lot of peanut butter and jelly. Oh, I just dropped all that on the floor. Hold on. Where's Maxine? She's sleeping. <laughs> easy, easy go-to lunches. This everybody can be fed. Easy lunch. It's gonna be chicken salad. Okay, we add some pepper. And some salt, and then they just like salt and pepper, and just gonna mix this up. <laughs> Jaden's here. Hey, Jaden, you're here. Jaden's figure is so unfortunate at her age, walking in looking like rerun from what's happening. Jaden, pop lock. But what's even worse is that Amy would never show something about herself she considers unflattering. She won't even film herself chewing, but she couldn't care less how she films Jaden. Look at Jaden, she's awesome. Look at that. That's a girl that wants her mom to drive her to the airport. I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly, because you're cheaper than Uber. Jaden's flying out today. I Super know. excited. So excited. She's gonna go back to the mountains for a little bit here and enjoy some time with family and friends and just, oh, yeah. kind of just disappeared. I mean, I don't even see her, but she's busy. Jaden and the Marion girls seem like real jerk offs. Jaden knows her mom stresses about driving, but she won't spend the money on an Uber or parking her car at the airport. She'd rather stress her mom out because it saves her a buck. Lame. So do I get being an adult? Yeah, being an adult. adult I know, yeah, the people that watch from my channel I haven't posted one in like four months. Yeah, so she's, she's so busy with life. <laughs> Jaden 100% needs to get back to posting on her channel. She is about to age out of Amy's house or either be a victim of downsizing. It's hard out here on your own working as a nanny and part-time at a church. Jaden is going to end up just like Evan. 
That's what happens when you get older, you just go do yep. your own thing, so. Put the chicken in the container. <laughs> Hmm, she only packed enough bread for Grego. I guess the imaginary people at Greg's imaginary job didn't want any more Amy Marion banana bread made with expired egg replacer and applesauce that Amy didn't like enough to eat. Go figure. I've got... So that was Greg's lunch, a big lunch for a big boy. I packed Greg's lunch. Lunch is ready for the kids. Breakfast is there. Dinner will be done when I get home. So then um, Jane's up there. Kids are moving, getting their stuff done. They get all their independent stuff done. They'll have breakfast, all those good things. What I'm going to do now is fill up my car with some stuff that I haven't had in there in a long time. <laughs> I used to, in the mountains, I would always kind of keep a supply of stuff in my car. So let's go to my car, pack it, and fill it with a few things. As I just brought all my stuff outside here, we've got some wipes. We've got some water bottles. We've got some women products. We've got sunscreen. I'll keep that in the back. More riveting Amy Marion content. Stay tuned for what happens at the back of her car. We've got some more hand cleaners here. Is that it for you? So, okay, made it to the car with Jaden. Jaden. So, we are headed out to pick up. Brooklyn actually first and then we're gonna make it on time yes, on time to the airport because it shows 20 minutes to 55 minutes I was out <laughs> at like 5 30 in the morning all of Amy's kids have big crooked yellow teeth it's gross and it's all Amy's fault morning yeah. uh Wednesday I was sitting at a Starbucks having a bagel okay and I was watching the cars drive out and I was like huh say like rush hour in North yeah. Carolina is that busy at 6 30 in the morning in Florida in Florida, in Florida yeah. and I was like this is ridiculous <laughs> the sun's not even up all the way yet so and it's so Jaden complains about everything just like her mom yeah it's Florida it's gonna be busy you shouldn't have been at Starbucks you have way more important things in life you need as a young Marion, then extra calories. You're like, wow, there's like, like no oh cars. my gosh, it's so slow here. I it's love it. It's so slow. Live. It's definitely a different vibe drive, but you get different life here. Yeah, true. Different life, definitely different life that you would have not had in the mountains. That's so true. Jaden, don't let your mom gaslight you. She did the same thing to Lauren at 16 when she moved her away from everything she knew in Michigan to North Carolina. And then she left her in North Carolina with two kids who she doesn't even think about. Don't be like one of your siblings believing her lies. Yeah. You just tolerate the traffic and it's fine. It's good. He's, <laughs> He's got to go 25 to 55 minutes. I'm like, what? But we're going to make it. We're going to trust that we're going to make it. So we're going to go get Brooklyn and then take Jaden and drop her off. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yay. In the car, Jaden and I are comparing notes of how to get there to the airport. I'm like, much shows this way and it's only 25 minutes. She's like, no, let me take you this one. From this stretch okay. of highway, this is where the most accidents will occur. It is but because it's a four of the construction. To, it's four to five lanes. So technically only one or two will be down and you have two more to go. It's true. I'm like, do people ever sit there and like decide, hmm, which one's going to have the most less accident? <laughs> I do. So first of all, they talk over each other, just like her and Greg, because none of them know how to have a conversation. And second of all, you don't think about those things, Amy, because you are a moron. Yes, when normal people drive, they consider which way is going to be the quickest and which way will be the safest and which way will make them late. Some people actually think before they do things, Amy. Sad that you talk over and mock your child for trying to be safe. I am driving these roads like All the literally time. every single day. There were three accidents on this one bit of highway that I avoid now okay. because of how many accidents happen specifically. Yeah, crazy. So that's why I know. People drive very, very quick here. I mean, they drive reckless, right recklessly. recklessly. I'm not a judgment, because I'm Brooklyn's like, you use your blinker all the time here, Mom. She goes, you never really did in the mountains. I said, that's because there's nobody on the road. And they're like, Mom, no blinker. I'm like, there's nobody within anywhere. I'm like, why would I turn my blinker on, so. Because it's the law, Amy. You don't just follow the law when someone is looking. It makes me wonder if you actually do steal when no one is looking like you suggested that day about the gas can during the hurricanes. And they're 
like, we would. It was funny. But I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, you definitely use it all the time now because yeah. you have to because people just swerve in and out all the Seriously. time every which way. And I'm like, I'm like, just use your blinker. Yeah. So it happens literally. Yeah. And, and, and don't ever least. stop at the stoplight and not immediately go when oh, it turns yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're like laying the people. They don't even give you seconds. You're like, go. I'm like, so sorry. I think. And then so yesterday I was driving. The Jaden showing us all that she is as stupid as her mom by having this asinine conversation about her mom driving like a moron is cute, but everyone else is driving recklessly. Her Florida ponytail bun on and she was laying back with her tan on. She had her AirPod, AirPods on, oh, yeah. holding her phone like this, and she's just driving. Like, she looked like she was going to fall asleep, and I'm like, and her car wasn't like a self-moving car. Right. Tesla it was definitely yeah. an older car, but I had to laugh. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's what happens here. <laughs> Is that why you moved here? Because we've already seen you numerous times driving around the Florida sun on a busy road with your sunglasses on, holding your phone, and recording a video for your channel. So are you actually taking time out of your video to talk crap about someone who does exactly what you do? Florida ponytail bun and Florida tan and all? Everybody's on their phone all the time. Everybody's like literally like right it's here. It's very so. interesting. I but think that's why we have a lot of accidents. That's probably it. I'm like, how can we you? We get attentiveness and then people go in like 90 in yeah. a 60. Oh yeah, very fast. So it's yeah. just, it's, it's fun. Crazy. But it's so, so we're going to trust Jane. So we'll see if we get there. We, we'll get there in time. I'm like, it's going to be quick, I promise. But I had to laugh though. Yeah. Okay, so that's our conversation about driving now. Yes. Next we'll drop you off and yes. you'll be good. Brooklyn's almost done. We're waiting for her and mm -hmm. good day. Sun is out. It's just good. So now we're home and I'm like, she's like, what are we doing today? I said, nothing. We don't have to do anything more. So I'm like, how nice. Because we spent a lot of running. So I said, I look forward to Amy, can you not see all of the new sunspots you've gotten since Florida? You are increasing your chance of skin cancer every single time you go outside. Invest in a wide brim hat and actually start using sunblock and skin cream. To, I'm going to go in and um, do just a few things in the house and then like nothing, probably sit and relax. Wouldn't that be something? And then finish up dinner. <laughs> it's never sit and relax. Finish up dinner. We're going to do bike ride tonight. We're going to go for the pool tonight. So I'll probably go out and turn the pool filter on because it needs to, there's leaves in it. I saw the leaves in there. My vacuums are still in there from a couple days ago. I put some everything bagels, seasoning on there. I got cucumbers. I grabbed some nuts, chickpeas, cranberries, wet cucumber, hummus, and everything bagel seasoning. Not only does that look revolting, it's a ton of calories for a snack. Chickpeas, 269 calories per cup. Hummus, 150 calories. Mixed nuts, about 200 calories. 610 calories for a snack, and you're going to be hungry in 15 minutes. Okay, I started filming and then uh, took a phone call. So today we're going to have a very chill afternoon. We were Greg had to fix Maddie's bike. There was something wrong with her, but something was loose on it. Well, anyways, fix that for us, and then we got a new e-bike, and so we just um, took that for a ride around the neighborhood, make sure it rides good, so. How long until someone gets hurt on that e-bike? We all know Amy doesn't make those kids wear helmets or any safety gear. We'll get to ride that tonight. The kids will be excited for that. So I got out my Christmas stuff, okay, and realized <laughs> I have nothing. And then I did save my nativity, so I was glad for that. I'm like, okay, I didn't get rid of my nativity set. So that is in this box. I'm like, I even bought the rug at Sam's Club, and it's got so much red writing, I think I might return that too. So it's good to know I really have nothing, which is, hey, that works. It's good to know I really have nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Amy wanted all of her gift card giving followers to know she had absolutely nothing left of decorations. So they need to send some home decor gift cards ASAP. So I was doing dinner here. Brooklyn was washing TV, so I didn't want to disturb her. So I thought, um, I guess I put in the oven. I have to learn my oven. <laughs> I always forget. Like, it was on the low, and it was taking a little bit of time. And I'm like, hurry up. Brooklyn must be putting her foot down about mom hogging the downstairs for her personal YouTube channel. Too bad she's too stupid to help her mom's channel and get paid. Instead, she wants to work and come home and veg out like Al Bundy. Why isn't Brooklyn in school? She's always home chilling in between her stupid part-time jobs. It's not like she has any type of education. Amy must be the biggest idiot on earth to switch up how she makes money for some dumb teenager. What a stupid situation Amy has created for her family. 
Is Brooklyn's plan just to get married to the Jethro looking kid and ride off into the sunset in North Carolina, sit at home and get fat and have babies like Lauren? Maybe she plans on getting on her fake Instagram and being a crypto scammer. I heard crypto is rallying right now. How sad can your future get? I try and high and then yeah, burn the corners. I guess and burn. I'll save that piece. I like crispy. And then our corn is here. Amy will never learn to use the oven. She can't even accidentally get it right. Our sauce is done and I'm just boiling the noodles here. They're almost ready to go. I did like a package and a half trying to see how many to do. And I think that's going to be it. I was going through comments some days. I'm not able to get to my comments all the time. I try to go through and monitor them because, you know, people. But if you have ever left Amy a comment and she deleted it, let us know in the comments below. Before I ever made a video on Amy, I gave her helpful tips. She deleted them all, just like she does anyone who questions or comments on things she doesn't want discussed. Um, I just went through and did some of those now, and I think it's like 4.30, so we're gonna finish up. I'm gonna finish and close today's video. We are gonna eat dinner together, sit down and eat, and then we are going to get on our bikes and go ride, and we got the new e-bike. So I rode with Greg and was riding around the neighborhood and I'm like, that is so awesome. So I know the kids are going to want to ride it. I was riding that bike and I'm like, this is way easier to ride bike. He's like, yes, honey, that's much nicer quality. That's why it's going to be a lot easier to ride on your legs. I said, so all those people riding those bikes, those like souped up expensive bikes, I said, it's not really that hard. <laughs> we would see like really old people in the mountains and they'd be going down the switchback and up the switchback. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, how could you even ride on that? But I just, I know that a nicer bike is going to be a lot easier to ride. We got one, then we're going to get another one here. So we have Amy thinks everyone in shape enough to ride a bike without having a heart attack is riding an e-bike. This lady always finds new ways to show her ignorance. She doesn't understand that her bike has a motor, so the pedaling is assisted, but not everyone riding a souped up bike is riding an e-bike. She doesn't understand that. Wow. Two of them, cool. So we're gonna go ride the neighborhood tonight and then you know, take some turns riding that because that's fun and then take Maxine for a walk and we're gonna go swimming. I'm gonna do a relaxing, quieter evening at home. I don't have to do any more editing. Tomorrow I'll be back for Gabby or Fragment Friday because we're gonna make we're making food. I promise I'm making food. <laughs> I have to be home this weekend so we're gonna make some food. So it is Friday. Happy Friday morning to you. Got some good sleep last night. Went upstairs, did a little bit of work this morning, ran Brooklyn to work already and I'm like okay I've got about four hours. So I'm like my goal is to get my food done in the four hour window which I think I can. So this Brooklyn is gonna make a little under fifty dollars after taxes for four hours at her job. Amy makes $200 and up per video, depending on views. So let's prioritize Brooklyn's job. Winner, winner. Let's make some Twinkies. Who has it in their own cookbook and doesn't even know that they have it in their own cookbook? Who has a cookbook and doesn't know what's in it? People who plagiarize all their recipes. That's who. Now this one is just cake mix. See, I'm gonna follow this recipe. Now this one is from a cookbook right here. A minute night cookbook. You want to know how to cook? Learn how to cook? Get a minute night cookbook. I'm going to follow their recipe. So theirs is cake mix, a half a cup of Crisco, which I thought was interesting, in there with eggs, instant vanilla pudding, water. We're going to start making this. I'm going to do my desserts first. I got a list. So we are going to do some desserts and then I'm going to make a couple meals. So we're set for the weekend. So you guys ready? We're just going to get going because I have a time frame. We're going to make it happen. All right, let's go. Now they recommend putting uh, parchment paper in your pan, which would make it come out better. I don't have like cake pans. I just have 9 by 13. So you can't put parchment paper in your 9 by 13 so it won't stick? You could if you weren't lazy. One is a little bit more square than the other. That's okay. I'm just going to spray it really well. And like I said, I haven't made this in a long time. Uh, pudding will make it a little bit thicker, which will be nicer, not so aerated. So that is... The pudding does a good job of making it not so aerated, said the teacher of 10 children. That's good. What I'm gonna do is the icing for the cake, cause it'll cook real quick, is gonna be one of those flour um, milk ones. Remember how they like thicken that way? Amy puts flour in everything. So weird. No need for flour and icing. Icing is literally butter and powdered sugar. We cooked spaghetti on it yesterday. You did not cook spaghetti on the stove. You made it in your crock pot.
Your stove is just dirty from using it and never cleaning it. Nice try though. So we'll let that cool off here and then we'll add that to our, we'll make the icing. Let's do some different jellos. We'll mix up and I got little containers, let my little glass jars. How many times does Amy mention this? Every single time. So you will click on the link in her description and buy them off of Amazon using her link and she will make extra money. Who cares if people have heard her tell you about these little wee yogurt containers one million times? So here I used to use the wee yogurt containers. Okay, I've got this nice little tray of Jello, which is fun. They like that. I'm gonna put the oven next, and that is gonna be candied nuts. Remember, I made that a few weeks ago. So so good, delicious. So I bought a bunch of this. I'm gonna make a big batch. I'm gonna put this in the bottom. I'll have to turn the oven down. There are 310 calories in just 10 of those candied nuts. That is how the whole family is getting bellerific. That oven sounds like a casket closing in a horror movie. This entire video, every time she closes it, it's like the Crypt Keeper. Let's do some cooking in there. Okay, let's see what else. Why don't I do my apple cinnamon pretzel dessert? That is just, I feel like so much better. <laughs> so I'm gonna put in three quarters of this bag in there. And then I'm gonna put a cup of butter, sugar, and just mix it up in the food processor. I don't normally, this is the first, I don't think I've even used a food processor on this, have I yet? She's gonna say this every time she uses this thing for like the first year because lining up the arrow to make it work is so much for her. I'm gonna dump it out real quick and see if maybe the blade wasn't in right, I don't know. New, I'm thankful I got it, way better, way better than the cheapy one I purchased just to get by. So I'm gonna pour this out and see if I can fix it. <laughs> okay, I was looking, I'm like, what is wrong? It's the triangle needs to be next to you. I had it over like in the other one, so this is good. And press it down. And then you're gonna put this in the oven. Very simple. So I'm gonna turn, when you're doing nuts, you can turn it up for a little bit. So I'm gonna turn it up to 350 so this can bake. Amy is the oven crypt keeper. It's official. While that's working, I'm gonna wash these dishes. Look at that. Okay, so the only flaw is that look at it. It's uneven. She says the only flaw is that it's uneven as if that's not a big deal or it looks okay. That cake looks like a child made it. This whole segment is so chaotic, the desserts all look disgusting and will literally kill you with Crisco and sugar. The kids would be so much better off with a simple, real Twinkie. Which is nice and thick. Nice and cool up here. And then butter, Crisco, and vanilla. Is that it? Oh, one cup of sugar, I'll say. Mixed with sugar, okay, I was thinking. Yay, more lumpy flour icing. Who's laughing now, children? Wait a minute, Nick, you beat it with sugar, so let me do that first. For this, all you do is just spread your frosting on, put the other part on, then you cut it in little pieces. But what you can do now is cut it in strips and then wrap it in plastic wrap. I'm gonna start mixing up my inside mixture for my cinnamon pretzel dessert. Let me take a photo of that so I don't forget to put that on there. It's in my cookbook. Here I put cream cheese, sugar, and then mix it with Cool Whip. I'm just gonna do the same container, not rinsing it out because how do the children ever know what's in the food when she doesn't label anything? Jensen must eat cream cheese all the time. Some of the desserts have things he can't eat in them. Some of them don't. How does he ever know what is for him and what is not for him? Jeez, RIP his guts. We're over here now. So what I'm going to do over here, we're going to make our apple mixture. It's basically like an apple pie mixture. So I've got a lasagna outside already. So that would be one. So I'll probably do that for Saturday. That'll be a little easier. So I won't bake that because that'll go in the oven tomorrow. And then I'm going to do um, sloppy joe and french fries. And I'm going to make some homemade sloppy joe. And then we'll do tacos for Sunday. And that'll be easy. I put it in little containers and I'm just going to be like, grab and make your taco because that'll work out. Some days are a little busier. Sometimes we go out on a date. Sometimes we go out and do things. I'm not sure what we're going to go do. Oh, look at that. That's already thick. Can you see? You can see. Add your apple. 
and then you're just gonna stir this and let this go over. Almost too much for the pot. As usual, Amy can't measure pot size. I need my hand open the start of my meal. So I'm gonna do breakfast. We're doing pancakes. We're gonna do mini pancakes because everybody loves them. It's simple, easy. I got Yay, pancakes again. She has made pancakes every single week since Autumn's birthday. Some weeks more than once. And some weeks she made two days worth at a time. Yum. Why not? Well, I'm waiting for those to cook. I'm going to do a couple egg cups. I'm going to crack some in here, whisk them together, make like scrambled eggs. And Why do you need to make egg breakfasts for kids that you say like to make their own eggs for breakfast? I think the truth is you're just too lazy some days, so you make them fend for themselves. Milk for cereal gets real expensive for you, though, with six kids eating cereal every day, doesn't it? Forever, and then um, put some bacon and cheese in it, something simple. Now I've got a brownie pan. It's not going to be the same as the round one, but this works. It's kind of nice for a little sandwich. Let me spray it really good. Um, I didn't even add salt and pepper. Let me add salt and pepper in here. I'll just pour this in and then I'm going to add cheese on top and bacon so that not all of it is bacon because not everybody loves bacon. Put these in the oven for about 20 minutes. What I'm going to do while that is cooking, I'm going to cut up the Twinkies. I'm going to wrap them up. That'll be something good. These are delicious. I'm sure they're better than Twinkie. I haven't had Twinkie. I promise you kids, your mother is either outright lying or she is highly delusional because there is no way that those lumpy dumpies compare to the sweet golden bread and creamy vanilla filling in Twinkies. Since I was a teenager, but I have to assume that those are tasting way better because homemade is always so much better. Twinkies are finished, we're in these pancakes right here, eggs are cooking, and then we'll I'll probably get some pans out and start my meat up. These are the nuts, look at those, Just crispy. Delicious. Okay, cakes done. I'm gonna put my nuts in some containers. So we'll have, um, do sloppy doughs and we're gonna do french fries. Simple. Put it on the pan when it gets closer to dinner and we'll put those in the oven. Put a little olive oil, salt, pepper. Delicious. Here is the apple dessert right here and just put this on top. Something else I'm gonna make, we still have some chicken salad, but the egg salad is gone. So I'm gonna hard boil some eggs and just leave them, peel them, leave them in their shell. Like, Yay, more mayo salad for the kids to munch on. How many eggs do you want these kids to eat in a day, Amy? How many? In their shells, in their skin, in the refrigerator. If they want to make egg salad, they can. This came out of the oven right here. This is good. I'm going to plop these in a pan here. I made different kinds. Some I made with um, the Parmesan cheese, because some can do that. And then I made some with no bacon, because some don't like bacon. And then I made one with both. So I'm going to put them in a container. They can just grab and eat. I'm assuming I've never had the little egg bites at Starbucks. I've seen them in the store, though, the little... Will Amy ever learn to use this stove? Or will she break it before she learns? Let me know what you think in the comments. I've, I've like seen them in, that you can buy them and I'm like, gosh, that's so much money. It's literally just whip the eggs up and I think some are egg whites. So just whip up your egg whites or buy the egg white package at the store. Make your own, you can make a ton of these for so cheap and you can freeze them and they do good to be reheated. Just make sure they're thawed first and then reheat them in the microwave. I don't know if I'm gonna do lunch because we can, I mean, the eggs will have egg salad so we can have that with the chicken salad or there's gonna be leftovers because lasagna will have a leftover. Um, so I think that's good. So, so the meat is all cooked. Let me um, take some out. Just for temporary. So to this I'm just gonna add taco seasoning. Taco meat so. so usually Sloppy Joe I use a um, pack, like a can. I have frozen onion and green pepper and celery. So I'm just gonna mix that in. I can add she feeds these kids like a crazy person. Sloppy Joe's and French fries on Friday. Frozen lasagna for Saturday. Tacos made today for Sunday. Amy doesn't drain any of her meat. She is going to give the entire family heart disease feeding them that much cheap, undrained, 80-20 ground beef. She doesn't feed the children any protein for days at a time and then gives them grease overload with, with ground beef randomly. So weird. Honestly, say I like that flavor. I think before I added tomato sauce, don't add the tomato sauce. I think it tastes good just the way it is. She said her flavor is good without the tomato sauce. So don't add the tomato sauce like Pioneer Lady said. Amy has 10 kids. She knows flavor better than Ree. 
and real Worcestershire. I think I had it like stick sauce because that's all I had last time. But I had real sauce, so that was a really good recipe. Pioneer Woman's recipe, very, very good. So this will be dinner tonight. And then this will be taco bar. So we'll have this, the meat, the refried beans, the cheese, and then I've got lettuce and salsa and tortilla chips So and tortillas. So we can just make whatever we want to do. Even Doritos crushed up will be really good. So it's good. So I finished. I am done. It is 11.15 right now. 11.10. And I got all my food done. Got lots of desserts for fall. So what I'm going to do is close today's video early and finish up our day. Probably go for a bike ride and we will go swimming and have a great evening and then into our weekend. Okay, neighbors. That's it for now, but I will be back and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, neighbors. Bye.